Hello everyone, this course is entitled Elementary Electrochemistry. This course is mostly meant for the BSc or BSMS first or second year students who are doing chemistry as their major. Electrochemistry is a part of uh, physical chemistry and for this course you will need a little bit of background of uh, thermodynamics and some knowledge of basic chemistry to do, be able to understand the contents of this course. In this course we will discuss about uh, very basic aspects like Faraday's laws of electrolysis, weak and strong electrolytes and their behaviors. We will try to solve a few problems using those uh, concepts and then we will learn about electrolytic and electrochemical cells. After that we will discuss about the use of electrochemistry and applications of electrochemistry in uh, various aspects including the potentiometric titrations. So while discussing about those uh, potentiometric titrations, I will introduce you to some of the experiments which are generally done in chemistry laboratory using the pH measurement and use of electrochemistry in practical. After that we will move towards the measurement of conductance, the concept of conductivity, resistivity and so on and in that we will discuss the theories of conductance, ion conductivities, equivalent conductance, specific conductance etc. So in that context we will discuss some of the experiments which involve uh, conductometry or conductance measurement like conductometric titration, Oswald dilution law verification etc. So towards the end of this course we plan uh, to give you an overview of electrochemistry and various applications of electrochemistry in practical life. So those who are interested to learn basic aspects of electrochemistry and then go ahead and do advanced courses on electrochemistry then this course is most suitable for those uh, students of BSc first year and second year. I hope you will enjoy this course. This course as usual will have uh, 12 assignments and one final exam and mostly these assignments are based on multiple choice questions and the final exam I, in general I conduct as a written exam instead of a multiple choice where various concepts can be tested. So I hope you all will enjoy this course. Thank you.